I could challenge is 21. Cross best rescue on the 19th. About myself, my name is Jana Mohamed Bhatti. I'm from Hungary, Egypt. My experience in robotics, I studied robotics since 2018 in EV3 and NXT. I learned C language for one year, and it's the first time I participated in the challenge. The challenge I participated in is Eiko Challenge under 19. Cross Space Rescue is a simulator including objects, traps, and depositing areas. The objects are people in real life, and the trap is the dangerous area, and the deposit is the safe area. And the mission is to take these people to the safe area without falling in the trap, which is the dangerous area. Same as in the Cold Space Rescue, the challenge task was to avoid trap walls, freezing with the object and depositing them. Each object has different points, as the red object has 10 points, the cyan object has 15 points, and the black object has 20 points. When the robot collects one object from each color, it generates a super object, and when it collects two colors from each object, it generates the super plus object. Problems I investigated were to collect the super object and the super plus object and to reach the deposit. To solve the problems, I used position, compass, and the LED for super object. Position and compass for deposit. Now, the robot school improved after collecting the super object and deposit it faster than wasting much time. This is the super object and this is the super plus object. The mission is to move in the map, collect the objects, then take them to the deposit area without falling in the trap. Do not use the collected objects. Maximum number of objects the robot can collect is 6 objects in 6 minutes. The challenge task can be broken into many, many tasks. First, to move forward until the robot turns to avoid freezing. Then, the US will see the wall in a distance of 15, so it will turn at a high speed to reach the deposit in the bottom. If the robot reaches the wall late, because sometimes the robot doesn't go straight in the beginning. Sometimes the robot is inclined to the left side or the right, so it doesn't reach the same area. The robot reaches the wall late, it will not turn directly to the deposit, so I use the position to make the robot turn when it is near it, and it will deposit. Then the robot will move until it reaches the other deposit area of where the trap deposits and collects the black objects. The mission will be solved if the above main tasks are solved. This is my flow chart. My flow chart. The strategy is that the robot will move forward, then it will turn to avoid the position, then turn again to avoid the wall, then after depositing, it will move backwards, then it will avoid this position, it will enter the trap normally because it doesn't have any objects, it will move like this, till like this and because the robot doesn't go in a straight way it's slightly inclined and then the ultrasonic will make the robot turn like this and it will enter to the deposit ai algorithms are us compass color sensors in position x and y i use us to avoid wall and the obstacle Compass because when depositing the robot was turning, then it stopped. So I used the compass. Color sensor to deposit collect objects and avoid the trap. Position to avoid the freezing area. Debugging. Sometimes the robot was not performing as I wanted, as it gets stuck when it's between the freezing area and the US sees an object, as in this situation. The problem was that the robot was seeing an object and have to avoid the position, and the action of it is opposite to the U.S. 
Here's the position and it's a terrible task to avoid it unless it will be frozen for 10 seconds. And this is the obstacle. It also has to turn to not cash in it. I programmed the robot to turn in the direction of the position using the debug to see which US sensor is seeing the object. So when it sees the object with this US sensor, it has to turn to the position's direction. Conclusion. I think I could have done better, but I'm happy with the result. If I have used different methods to solve the task, I would let the robot move normally and collect two objects from each color, so the super plus objects are created. I will not let the robot collect them until there are more than two objects. If I was asked to solve the challenge again, I would let the robot get up from this area easily to collect the other objects. This area only has black objects, so the robot has to come out of this area to collect the other objects. Learning experience. I learned the ceiling which ain't how does a robot think. I learned the compass directions and the position. How does the US work and how to use it. I gained through the ICO challenge we get the Egypt 2021 how to make a presentation with PowerPoint and I learned the C language. I would like to share with the other post-based participants by experience. As in the beginning, the robot was not given high score, but it's that I tried hard, harder to know the problem was proved in it. This was my presentation. Thank you for watching.